Well, the national average gas price has been over $4 a gallon for months, an increase of nearly 45% from last year. As many services add fuel surcharges to help cover the increased costs. In tonight's Your Money Matters, why one Kettleland employer is now giving many staff members a new fuel stipend. When we look at uh, the impact that gas prices were having on our employees, especially those on the front line, we really felt like we needed to do something. At the start of this month, all Great Western Bank employees who make less than $65,000 a year saw a new addition to their paychecks. We do $65 per pay period, and employees' reactions have just been phenomenal. I mean, so excited. It was unexpected for them, and, and it's just, it, it just speaks to volumes to what our, our company does when putting people first. The fuel stipend is helpful for employees commuting to downtown Sioux Falls every day, but it may be even more important for those employees working at Great Western's rural locations like the people in Aberdeen that are working in that market that maybe live in Groton and are commuting into Aberdeen, that's, that's an impact on their, their finances as well, and we feel like there's an opportunity here to help those people out. Great Western Bank's regional president, Ryan Boucher, says this helpful addition comes at a critical time for the company as it begins a new merger. February 1st was officially when we became a division of First Interstate Bank. The full rebranding will happen at all Kettleland Great Western locations late next month. A change employees are celebrating with such a great start under this new ownership. Making a move like this really right out of the gate and showing our employees how much we care about them, and we're not just saying that, we're actually doing something about it, I think is just fantastic. Great Western Bank and First Interstate will continue adding the fuel stipends to paychecks through June when they will reassess where ga gas prices are at that point to see how long the stipends should continue.